for many years I've been knowing this man, Devesh, he's from Sydney and we have been connected, we, we are part of the same mastermind um, but how to be a much more powerful version of yourself as a man and we finally met and I was just telling you, you know, we met yesterday and it feels like it's been a week because we met, we had deep conversations, transformation, you know, wisdom and consciousness and then we went for the amazing lunch, you know, Terry, you, um, Anupama and I and then we, we also were talking to Bamsi. So what I'm talking about right now is you become who you hang out with and I think there's power in being in the right room, not a quote unquote room but part, you know, part of the right community, a tight community of people. So you have inspired me a lot. What do you have to say about that, being part of the right group? So, sometimes we use our mind to think who the right group is. But sometimes the right group is about the depth of connection that you feel with somebody. I would rather walk into a room and have three or four deep conversations than try to network with 10 or 20 people. And here's the thing, don't use your mind. When you sit at a table, intuitively feel into who you can have a conversation with. And I guarantee you, every single person that you have a conversation with if you just let go of the mind and you connect from the heart, you show up as an invitation of what's real and you open up. Then people open up their heart to you. And what comes from that, whether it's clients, collaborations, just a soulful conversation that you will remember for the rest of your life, that one interaction will, interaction will send shockwaves across everything else in your life. That one conversation will be mo so much more than the hundred people that you meet. Yeah. So, the answers are inside you. We look outside, but if you tune in and you listen, you have the answers inside you. The day you were born, you chose your name, you chose your parents, you chose the color of your skin, you chose where you're meant to be born and the wisdom that comes with that. The answers are here. And it's time, at some point, to not look on the outside, tap it from the inside and let it come from in here and trust it. Because I can tell you, nobody ever said, man, I really wish I hadn't listened to my intuition. Nobody ever said that. Yeah, and they might not use the word intuition. They might say, I, I, wish I, I wish I followed my heart. I wish I'd listened to my gut feeling. But that's what you mean by intuition. Absolutely. Yeah. You always have the answers inside you. If you just try to stop and listen to it, you'll experience a magic that you'll never forget. And it will change how you look at life forever. Yeah, and how I see the wish is, you know, when, when you're in the right group of people, they remind you that you already know what you need to do. It's just that you're not looking, you're trying to be like the child who says, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. But you can see, you know the right courageous actions to take, the right decisions to make, the right Absolutely. investments to create, the right you know, sacrifice to do sometimes, letting go of that job, letting go of that habit. But I think sometimes people get in the rut because I coach a lot of people, as you know, in the in Elite Transformation Mastermind, one-on-one -on -one coaching, sometimes I see, um, sometimes people need a lot of like new ideas that sound good, but they don't do shit with that. And I think the reason for that is because, let me ask you, what do you think is the reason for sure? Well, yeah. It's because you don't need more strategies and tactics. You know what you're good at. You already know inside you. When you're walking in the forest and you're looking at, you're not looking for the path. The path is already there. It's just covered by leaves. Mm. So the answers are inside you. All you have to do is move the leaves out of the way mm. and the path is already there. You don't need any more strategies and tactics. You need to look at the reasons why you're not using the strategies and tactics that you already know. And the answer is, is because you're not listening to what you're aligned to. There's a different strategy for everybody. You may not want a million dollar business. You may not need a hundred employees. What's the type of life that you want to live? You gave up your job. You gave up your security to create the dream life that you wanted. Honor that. It's not about strategies or tactics. It's really about listening to what's coming in here and making it uniquely yours and just allowing yourself to give that a go. That's it. That's the power of being with the right people and having the right friends. And Devish is a powerful coach. He's, uh, when are you going back to Sydney? I'm flying back in five days. Five days. So he's been here for the last four, four last five days. Last five days. Five days. Yeah. So we are here for 10 days. Mm. So tomorrow morning I head out to um, to Dehradun and then Haridwar and then Rishikesh to do bungee jumping <laughs> then I'm back so we travel so here's the last let, let's rip for another 30 seconds or so value of traveling value of traveling it brings you home to yourself 
you can either follow, you can sit at home and follow strategies and tactics, or you can have soul nourishing experiences with people and places that feel like coming home. And I guarantee you, if you come back home to your heart and take that with you when you come back to your real life, that will be more powerful than sitting at home and trying to work on all the strategies and tactics you're forcing yourself to work at. Yeah. And for me, traveling, one of the things it does, it, it helps me get different perspective about life. Mm. So it, it, it makes me more grateful for what I already have. Number two, it gives me perspective about how other people see different life problems, mm. what they're dealing with, how they think, how they see, how, how open they are, how close they are. And that gives me a lot of, lot of inspiration to, to be a better version of myself. Absolutely. And it opens my mind because, I, and I liked it, you know, yesterday when we went for, for lunch, you know, we, we tried something new mm. um, and you are being mindful of the food. Instead of trying the same food that you probably have all the time, right? You're trying something new and I think that that's what traveling does. It gives you perspective, but at the same time, it you never know it, you know, a flight can get cancelled and when you're reaching there, the weather might be different than what you expected. And, and when the flight gets cancelled, you end up speaking to a person that be ends up being the best connection. Maybe you're traveling, you meet a person at a coffee shop and that co that connection is the one that takes you to something that you always wanted that you didn't even know. But if you stay at home, guess what happens? When you wake up in the morning, the photo on the wall reminds you of who you've always been. The dining table reminds you of who you should be. When you travel, you find out, you find out what you could be and that's magic. Mm. So I want to end with this powerful quote uh, by Mark Twain. He said, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you did not do than the things you did do. So whether it's travel, whether it's deepening your talent, whether it's giving more time, creating more treasure, or teaching people all the teas, you know, it's time for you to do that. Let's not wait anymore. Maria Robinson said many years ago, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anybody can start today and make a new ending. We are here holding the camera we such a great time that we had for the last you know two days but you know in the morning listening to different perspective having conversations with people so get the right people in your life the right friends the right group the right teachers and mentors that can change everybody this guy coaches some of the a, a lot of high level leaders and entrepreneurs with big companies and helping them and people pay lakhs of rupees to him lakhs and lakhs and lakhs of rupees just to speak to him twice a month for 30 minutes right the reason for that is because they understand the value that you bring. It's not about the time. It's about the value. You, you make people see something through a different hole in the window and they see a different sight completely. That's that's luxury for us as coaches and mentors to, to evolve the leaders. So thank you for doing what you do. Any final words? Life is an adventure and adventures don't come with great plans. You never know what you can, you never know what will find you. So, you know what? How about you go and find out? Go on the adventure. That's it. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. See ya.